That's as far as I can go for this and you can see that this thing is already bent so and that is hitting the hitting the uh, cylinder motor is only going straight the motor is only going straight as you can see so it is not turning to the right, and my motor is uh, straight right now. So it is not going to be um, not going to the right, not turning to the right because I need this motor to turn to the right more. In order to do that, I need to have this mounted it below. Hopefully if I mounted this rod underneath and I will be able to Okay, so the motor didn't turn. The motor didn't turn. Instead, it bent this this piece here. If I have this one mounted it in here, maybe the motor will be able to turn. So you can see the motor didn't turn. The motor didn't turn. Center position. So that's this thing, instead of pushing it to the left, it actually pushed this thing up. And you can see the main motor is turning to the left. And the uh, steering has tied to the hydraulic, hydraulic uh, steering open. working because this thing is bent downwards because I'm going to flip this
flip this upside down. Okay, instead of letting this in the on the top, I'm going to flip it down. This thing, um, you can see it's still straight. I just need to mount, mount it over here. You know, uh, or I can get another um, uh, locking plier over here to lock this in over there. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna repeat this again. Okay, I decided not to flip that uh, hydraulic connection uh, upside down. I decided to leave it alone. And as you can see, my main motor is turning to the left, and my um, my what do you call that? My kicker motor is also turning to the left. So I'm gonna and I double, uh, clamp uh, a double clamp this. As you can see here, double clamp this uh, aluminum uh, piece of uh, thing, and this will turn. Uh, how the motor will turn. How the kicker motor will turn. Okay, so let's take a look. Sorry, the center position. My kicker motor is this in the in the in the center uh, position. It's not turning to the right. So is my main motor. I cannot turn to the left. See, this is where you can go. hitting the top. is hitting this cover here and that's why it's not allowing me to continue to turn to the uh, right hand side there are a couple things I can do which is to bend this arm lower um, so that I can so that this will slide underneath the of this uh, Johnson 90 horsepower so I have to bend this rock but uh, let me see if I can from straight to the left okay so let's see direction from going straight uh, to the left. In other words, have the motor turning back towards the
speaker motor just didn't move. And the reason for that is because this aluminum rod, uh, it's just uh, doing it uh, too flexible, so it's doing it's uh, it's doing its thing instead of turning. As you can see here, this aluminum rod is bent. That's why. Is actually bent. It's actually bent. This rod is not so much bent. See, this rod is bent to this, to like that. Yeah. that uh, I'm not sure if this, if flipping this, is going to do anything. So that's not working. It's got to do something else. Okay, this time I flipped that connection to the uh, bottom, and uh, I'm not sure. Clear here, so it may hit uh, over here too. And I also uh, flipped it to the top. And I use the two locking plier to lock this uh, aluminum plate. And let's see what happened here. Let's see what happened this time. It is flat. Uh, so is my main motor facing left. They're both facing left. That's great. That's not even. That's not even going to the left yet. See, my kicker motor is turning straight. We're trying to turn straight. It's not even straight yet. It was and I think it's I'm not sure why it uh broke away. This arm is supposed to come over to here. 
now. So maybe I need to extend this arm, but uh, when I extend this arm too much, then it will be restricted. Restricted.